Hello caregivers, happy new year. It's year 2022 and we are all here. We thank God for grace. We thank God for all he has done for us, for his beautiful works in our lives. It's not easy. <laughs> 2021 is gone now we are in the new year are you excited what are you going to do this year is it going to be the same old stories old things just let us continue waking up sleeping and all of that <laughs> before we continue shall we pray our lord and our father we thank you we give you all the glory lord because you are worthy we exalt you oh god May your name be lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for this beautiful moment. Thank you because you would never leave us, neither will you forsake us. We are grateful. As we go on to our service today, Lord, speak to us, Father. We don't want to do this as custom or tradition. Let us hear specifically. Speak to our situation, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Once again, this is caregiver's class. Some people call you house girl. But in Daystar Christian Center, we don't call you house girl. Because we know that by the time you listen to our message over and over, and you do what we teach in our class, the people around you should know the difference. You should become a home manager. You should become a homemaker. And not just an inherent girl. Thank you for joining now let's join the praise team as we praise and dance. Come on children, good morning to you. Make some noise for the Lord Jesus. We are here to give him thanks this morning. Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? Can I hear the shout from you? Name 
and praise God. Today we're going to be talking about baby Jesus dedication. <clears throat> Lastly we talked about goal setting the gospel and we learned about the fact that God in his majesty had goal. God does not just wake up and do things. He has everything planned out. Even you, you are planned. You are not an, a mistake. 
where you are today god knows that you will be there thousands of years ago and we talked about the fact that god planned salvation for human beings several several years ago baby jesus that Jesus will come to the world to take away the sin of the mankind. There is a joke I saw on the social media that somebody said, ah, the whole world sinned, and somebody sent his only soul. Why not just kill Satan? And you, Satan, <laughs> this God, this one off me. But truly, why did God use Satan, kill Satan, and give salvation? No, because it needs someone that is pure, that can that can go through what we are going to because sometimes we feel like uh, god you don't understand though if you understand it's like go through you even you you know feel past this test but god came down in human form he passed through everything that we're passing through he understood everything they are going through and then died for us so and he did not sin and that is the blood that we need that can remit, that can, can wash away our sin. And that is the work of salvation He has done for us. All planned out. If God in His majesty could have a plan, how much more you? This year had started. What are your plans? How long are you going to be a house girl for? Are you a home manager already? If you leave where you have working last where you worked last year, is that where you are now? What are your plans? So let me go on to today's um, topic. Jesus' dedication. Part of the natural occurrence, the natural thing that should happen. Jesus went through them. After Jesus was born, the seventh day and the eighth day they did the naming like the in the Jewish custom. So Jesus was brought to the temple by his parents, according to the Jewish tradition. There was a man called Simeon. God had told Simeon that he would not see death until he had seen Jesus. We mentioned in our previous lesson that many people had lost hope that maybe this Messiah is just a fluke, maybe it will not come. But God never fails. When he says he will do something, he will do it. And Simeon saw Jesus. The Spirit of God told Simeon that this is David Jesus you have been waiting for. And he went to meet the parents and said, told them about everything that God had told him about David Jesus. But Jesus Christ is the one that will save his people from their sin. Looking at the baby, it may not look like it. But God has a plan, has a line of plan, line down, line up for Jesus. And that was confirmed by Simeon. There was another woman, they call her Anna. She was about, I think, 84, 80, 84 years old. You can check, because of our time, I'm not able to read the old chapter, but check Luke chapter 2 from verse 1 to the end, particularly verse 26 downward. You will see the story of Simeon and Hannah. Hannah has been in church, she's a widow, and she, she was in temple. Sorry, I use church and temple interchangeably because in those days they call it temple, but in these days we call it church. So please don't mind me when I use the word interchangeably, I mean the same thing. So Hannah saw Jesus as well and confirmed what the Lord has told her about baby Jesus. And maybe the parents have been having doubt about it before, but now they know that truly god has not changed his word the word he has given to mary before he got um, pregnant the word is sent through the wise men to confirm again the angels everybody reconfirming the word of god concerning them mary did not stop or break tradition because god has told her that the baby is carrying I mean she's carrying is a messiah there are some principles that we need to follow if they are not just natural. Because you are a child of God, does not mean that you should break protocol. If you don't walk, for instance, you'll be hungry. <laughs> so there are standards, there are principles. So even if an unbeliever follows some natural principles, natural laws, it works for them. That you are a believer does not give you an opportunity or ticket to break laws or not to make plans. Jesus went through 
everything that the tradition allows or, 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 or expected of them to perform. Why holding on to the promise? Why holding on to what God has said about Jesus? They dedicated Jesus to God again, even though he himself is God. I don't know where, you're, where you are now. I don't know where you're listening to me from. Would you be willing to dedicate yourself to Christ as you're starting the new year? Have you even sit, uh, sit down to think about it? God, why am I on this planet? What is my purpose? Go to the Bible. The Bible is the manual. Read your Bible. Pray to God. God, what is your plan for me? God can send, God can send people like Hannah, like Simeon to you to reconfirm the word, the plan of God for your life. This does not mean that you should go and be sincere. Be careful of false prophecy. You have the right to go to God and talk to God and know the mind of God. Your pastors in the church can help you to get closer to God, to know the mind of God towards you. Then rededicate your life to God. Just like the parent of Jesus dedicated him to God. Despite knowing what he has come to do, they still dedicated him to God. You too can dedicate yourself afresh to God today. Commit yourself, commit your ways unto God. Because he's the one that can make you to fulfill them. He's the one that can help you not to derail. He's the one that can help you to stay firm when everything is becoming gloomy. When everything is not making sense to you. When everything is looking like, I don't, I don't even get it again. I'm losing out. It's only God that can help you keep it together. It's the only God that can help you where you are and show you favor. Don't break any laws. Don't want to take shortcuts. Just like God, set your goal. As you are learning and acquiring knowledge, you should apply them. It is not enough for you to listen and listen and acquire knowledge without acting on it. So please, as we continue this year, work purposefully. Don't just do anything that comes. Everybody is doing this, I'm doing this. Everybody is going here, yeah, this is where I'm going to. Be purposeful. Where is God leading you? What does God want you to do? And it will help you. Just as he has helped, has been helping you in the past, just as he's helped Mary and Joseph to lead baby Jesus, to tend, I mean, to tender and care for baby Jesus and help Jesus to fulfill the reason why he came to this world. Is also going to help you. You are here today, you are even saying, I don't even have a relationship with God. How do I dedicate my life to someone I don't know? It's just a simple prayer of salvation. And God is here. He's there with you where you are. And He's just willing that just call me. I'm here. <laughs> I can't help you. And He will come into your life. If you would like to do that, can you just bow down your head and let's say this prayer together? Lord Jesus, thank you for all the work you've done for me. I believe I'm a sinner. I know I need your help. I accept the help you have given me. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And congratulations. So, if you just say that prayer of salvation, I congratulate you today and I say welcome to the family. And for you to be able to go and fulfill your purpose, read the bible the bible is like a manual that tells you is in the bible you will find your purpose stay around people of god you know remember it was in the temple that simeon and anna appeared I and mean, he went to mary and reconfirmed what god had said about baby jesus so stay with believers it will help your faith it will help you grow and i pray the lord will continue to help you in the mighty name of jesus before we go, our memory verse is still taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, which says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, 
Prince of Peace. May we experience peace of God as we go this week in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming around. Did you like my car, my fascinator? We made it in a caregiver's pass. And then watch out for our YouTube channel, Believe It CD video, and you can learn something. This year, put your hand on, put your hand on something, learn new skills that can fetch you money. Thank you. Have a blessed week.